In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 through to 6. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, <clears throat> Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In the scripture reading today, we learn about the way to the, to the Father, the way to heaven, to be with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And many people, when they read this scripture, tend to be a little bit confused and uncertain. Jesus is talking to the apostles near the end but he's also talking to you to me Jesus soon will be killed be crucified he dies buried but gloriously rises, as he tells us, on the third day. He is then with us for a short time, before ascending back to the Father in heaven. In my Father's house are many mansions. He goes to prepare a place for you, for me, for all his followers and those who believe. You believe in God, believe also in me, Jesus said, because he and the Father are one. And it goes on a bit further. Where I go, you know, and you know the way. But Thomas then spoke. I dare say he would be confused. Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. As followers of Jesus, as followers of the way, we have 
many teachings in the Gospels and the Scripture. The question I put to you now, as well as to myself, are you ready now? Are you ready to go? Have you fulfilled the commandments? In particular, the one that Jesus gave us. To love. God loves us that much. He gave us the commandments. To help us on our journey. And as we know just reading the other day, Jesus gave us another command, a new commandment, to love one another as I have loved you. And by this love all will know that you are my disciples, that you are followers. So ask yourself, are you ready? Are you ready now? People are a bit confused in regards to time. Why is it taking so long? Here we are in the 21st century. 2100 years. Why is it taking so long? Are you prepared now? Have you fulfilled the commands of God? So many of us have fallen short. So many of us fail. To love as God loves us. We are continually being given a chance to correct that. Time is a man made thing, not a godly thing. God does not work it out as 60 minutes in an hour 24 hours in a day this too is developed by man we know what we read in the scriptures that Jesus is gone to prepare a place for us. In the meantime, we must be preparing ourselves. God knows that we are weak in so many ways. And we are needing more time. How often do you pray and nothing seems to happen? You ask for things. And I also hope that you thank God for what you have. We must pray. Pray for patience in our life. Ask God to forgive us so many sins. And we weak humans keep on seeing. We keep on falling short. So can you say that you are ready now? It will happen. Not 
in our time in the way we work it out. But in God's time. Pray. Read the scriptures constantly. Be ready to receive the bridegroom. As you remember in the parable about the wise virgins, the ten wise, they weren't all prepared. So those who did were not prepared did not go to the banquet. We are given an opportunity to prepare ourselves. Don't waste it. Don't waste this opportunity. Make the most of what you have at the moment, in this time. When God is ready, he will call us. Pray. Ask God for mercy for our many failures. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.